To set up the pet food feeder, first you must turn it on using the switch you find on the underside. Once it's switched on, you see on the display 12 o'clock. It will start vibrating as you are hearing it just now. After about 10 seconds, about, about 10 seconds after it turns 12 or 1, it will stop vibrating and you will see the display blinking as it is now. This will allow you to adjust and set the current time. You must use the clock button to change hours and time button to change minutes. Now this P here represents PM so right now it's 12.01 PM. I would set it for 10 AM so I would have to go straight through the 12 and now you see the P is no longer there so we are in AM. Right so 10 and well I'll set it 10.03 AM. Once done if I leave it as it is here for about one and a half minutes after it started blinking it would automatically set whatever time is displayed as the current time and allow me to set the times for the different feeding well the times the feeder would make the food available so I'll, rather than waiting I'll press start this will set the time and now this will be the first feeding time Right now it's set to 7 a.m. because there's no P showing here to represent p.m. To actually change the time, I would have to hold down set until this starts blinking. Now I can use the timer button to change the time. Now we're at 12 p.m. My first feeding time will actually be 7, so I go up to 7. Once at 7, I would press set. And then I go to, this will be the second feeding time. The 5 is blinking, which is 5 p.m. So if I just wanted two feeding times, which would be the minimum, I can press start. Now if I want to use the maximum of four feeding times, I would change 5 p.m. I would go, in my case, to 11 a.m. And press set to the feeding time. I will go to 2 p.m. and set again for the last feeding time. This one I will make 5 p.m. When I press set this time, I hear the little sound which indicates that I've reached the maximum. So now I have the time set as one as 7 in the morning, 11, 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. Okay, now once that has been set, the, on the only thing that is left to be set would be, now it's 10 5, according to this, would be the volume of food to be distributed. Now, this feeder allows a maximum of nine portions so you would have to check how much one portion is and determine based on that what would be the appropriate amount to be um, distributed at every feeding so when i press volume here i hold on set and i'm allowed to change so i carry it up to whatever figure appropriate. Well, it will just keep going and looping back. Right, so I will go to 5. Once done, I press start. And that is basically all required for the feeder to operate. So I first set the time, then set the feeding schedule, and then set the portions to be distributed. Once done, it would be operational. I've covered sufficient to um, ensure that you can comfortably make use of the pet food feeder.